Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Yakuza, man. I am Drunken Dan. We need to do very serious calculations. We were, we, we were in a very serious conversation about how fucking long Namek took. How long were we on Namek? We'll never know the truth. I mean, in universe, it's like a week at best. Which is nonsense when you think about it. Like, how the fuck was that done in only a week? Like, come on. How wasn't it done in a week? Most of the time, it's just the heroes sit around waiting for, like, the next group of random freezer henchmen to show up so they can beat them, too. Well, a lot of it was, like, cat and mouse before Goku shows up. No, I have Vegeta it was Goku, through. it was cat and mouse, and then Vegeta getting Zenkai boost. Well, let's see, Vegeta went through most of Frieza's initial henchmen. He killed Zarbon and Doria. Most importantly of all, he killed Kui. Remember Kui? He also killed a pool. Oh, no one cares about a pool. Oh I care about a pool. But what about Kui, though? <laughs> Kui was his first victim. And Kui was like, ah, that's just as equally strong as you, you know that. <laughs> Poor, oh, poor oh, Queen. The, um... <sighs> was it? They had, uh... Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Now for anything. But yeah, I mean, Vegeta killed pretty much everybody on that planet. Goku beat up the Ginyu for us, but Vegeta killed them. But it's okay, because that one fill that one filler episode with Ginyu in Bob's body just killed our souls. Oh god, I forgot about that. Yeah, you did. The, the, the filler bit where she's in his... I forgot. Yeah, you did. You know, the, the worst part is I've been thinking about, like, re-watching the series and this is a mistake because that's making me go, okay, what other stupid things did I forget? I mean, is that even in Kai? I assume that got cut. Everyone hates that Oh, it's that in Kai. Episode. It's not in Kai. I know that. Because, I mean, if we're talking, like, stupid random bullshit filler doesn't mean anything. Uh, I know there was <laughs> a like part of Namek where she's, like, fighting monsters in a robot. Yeah. What about the part where Gohan just hangs around, like, just fucks around on his own for, like, ten episodes on Earth before... When Piccolo's like, I'm gonna train you later. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And he, like, I'm he, train he, you now. He meets, like, the, the, the orphan kids. He is, he befriends the one dinosaur. Uh, yeah, there's the, the robot. Of fighting the establishment who want to take... Who do want to do the horrible thing, like, take them into social care. Yeah. I, I remember like bits of it. Mm. Yeah, it's not great. I remember liking like... the dinosaur episode and the episode with the robot guy. Nanny. And they all end with goat with them horribly dying. Yeah? Except the children. They all end with them horribly dying. I'm sorry, the children survived. They definitely didn't. I mean, technically, if we go far enough on the timeline, yeah, they were killed. Everyone's dead. The only person who survived completely at the end of Z is Hercule. Mm. Yeah, to the end of Z, I was going to say, super kill Hercule. Super, and by super, everybody has died once. <sighs> Even Pan. Because mm. Pan was a baby and died <laughs> when yeah. Frieza blew up the planet. So baby yeah. Pan also got exploded once. No one is safe from Tor- And we all complain about Tomino killing up everyone. Yeah, but I mean, they go, they come back. They get resurrected. Aw, uh, Dan. I wish I fucking understood how Microsoft, you know, basically convinced everyone they weren't the devil. Yeah, I don't understand it either. So, like, there was a big thing where they revealed- where, where, obviously, the Activision Blizzard deal's gone through. And then, like- Sort of like the last couple of days, they had a thing of like revealing, oh yeah, like ten people on the half on the Hearthstone te development team just got shit canned for basically no re you know restructuring reasons. Like so, hey, you're here today and now you're gone. Fuck off, because you know that's how it works in your country. Yep. Uh, so, but anyway, everyone's like, why would they do this? It's like they've always I been thought, evil. Right. I thought Microsoft was meant to destroy the Sith, not betray them. They were always the Sith. And that's what I couldn't work out. Like, how did they, how did we get into this point where gamers are like, yeah, I want this, like... I want my Microsoft to own everything. Because it's not even, like... like Back exactly in my day, we all knew Microsoft was evil. But the stupid thing is, it's, 
exactly what Microsoft has, Microsoft does with all of its other teams where, hey, they buy the team or they buy the company and their properties, and then they shit can most of the develop of the core developers so they can replace them with developers for hire who, you know, or a lot, lot. Ch a lot, what, what? Well, oh, you, what you cut out for a bit. A oh. lot, lot cheaper. Just, uh, I'm just going to fix it. A lot cheaper. Uh, I was just saying that, like, what happens is Microsoft has bought out a bunch of various studios before in the past just to get access to their names and their, their, IPs. their properties. And then shit cans most of the core development staff or pushes them out so they could replace all of the developers. They can replace developers with cheaper, you know, uh, alternatives such as you know, subcontractors. Yep. Which is exactly what they've done. This is why I baffled as to why everyone was like, yeah, Microsoft, they're the saviors of everything. It's like, no, they're not. They're, no, just the they're... Same e they're the same evil, faceless corporation as the rest of them all. They're all the enemy. But with just more money. Evis. They're, they're literally <laughs> just as evil, if not more evil. Well, they're definitely more evil, because I don't recall any of the other major companies defunding the IRS. And it's like, you only, defund, you only attempt to defund yeah. the IRS if you cook things you don't want the IRS to look at. And that's and that, that's why we're in this like hellscape where like these companies are becoming monopolies again. Because the IRS is literally powerless now. Oh well. But yeah, I, I don't understand how people started thinking Microsoft were the good guys. I Like I said, when I was in my teens, we all knew and made fun of the fact that Microsoft were comically evil. There were jokes also, about making Bill Gates the devil. Also, they were comically inept. It's like they basically push it for or get by as a company because their systems are so ubiquitous that you basically everything basically has to use them. Right. So, yeah, and, and also, like their computers were affordable versus yeah. like, and honestly, usually to be fair, usually off the shelf, uh, what you would buy um, of a Windows PC would be uh, basically a comparable power of a Mac would be cheaper. And because everything was, and more things were compatible with it, it was just a better option. And most people don't fucking know how to use Linux. Myself included. Yeah, you only buy a Mac for two reasons. Number one, to be a smug douche, and number two, to be number two for editing. I'm not even editing anymore. No, not anymore, but that was back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do it for two reasons. Smug douche Nowadays. editing. Yeah. Nowadays, I don't know. Does it, do they even still make Macs? Uh, I, I assume they just only make iPhones and sometimes iPads. I have... I want to say yes, but I genuinely don't know. Oh, I guess they make MacBooks, but do they even count? They're basically just tablets now. They're basically just big smartphones. And even, like, in terms of their phone stuff, like, too, like, iPhones versus, like, like an Android or a Samsung or something like that is, like... They're more expensive for the same thing, maybe even less of what one of those can do. Well, now they've also been told, uh, "Hey, you've got to change your, your one unique thing, which is your char which is your charger cable, which you kept ex kept completely as its own thing." I want to thank the, the UK for it. two things: that, and also the fact that you guys have uh, are making them finally get rid of the fucking irreplaceable battery bullshit. Ah, uh, yes. Because uh, that's actually like, a problem that I have with my current phone, and one of the reasons why... And like, like honestly, the only reason I want to replace it is the fo the battery life is shit, and I can't, like, say on my, my first smartphone, I can't just buy a new battery and pop it in. No, if only our Prime Minister can answer a simple yes or no question. They can't do that. Basically, there's like a whole, but. there's a high-speed rail thing they've been threatening to develop for years. It's a terrible idea, but they've committed billions to it, and it's going to cost billions more. So just like all bad ideas, they're going to keep going. I mean, you can tell and, when uh, some, somebody's lying when they can't answer a simple question, and they just kind of go on to weird rambles. Anyway, he was doing an interview for Man in, in Manchester, which is where the rail is supposed to connect to, and the reporter was like, so... How, so are you yes or no? Are you going to cancel this? And he's like, just starts rambling about people. Well, you know, people drive cars, and that's how they get to places. And what are we talking about again? It's a yes or no question. Why are you <laughs> talking about cars? Oh, oh, Rishi. It, it, I'll be, I'll, yeah, I'll be almost sad when he's gone. <laughs> I won't be, but I'll almost be sad. <laughs> it reminds me of like um, 
this is obviously a smaller thing, but it was like somebody who was bitching about politics and video games, and I mean, a lot of games, uh, I mean, hell, the fucking game we're playing have politics in them of some sort. Yeah, but this was at least Japanese politics, so the average person is just like, ha ha, funny man, funny uh, man. Well, you, you, that's that's not really my point there with that. Um, so at one point when he was talking about that, I, when this person was saying this, I just said, okay, can you tell me some of your favorite video games? What? He wouldn't give me his favorite. Well, first his first response was, uh, "There's too many for me to list," and I was like, "Just just give me a couple of names," and then he started just what? rambling on about nonsense and i'm like just give me some video games were so, you debating u.s president joe biden so i i came to the conclusion this guy probably has not played too many games or he realized how stupid what he said was and didn't want me to then start going oh yeah actually this this is talking about this or this is talking about that um oh, yeah. or or other he he realized he he only the part he only realized was like wait am I about to fuck around and find out? Well, while we're continuing to wait for Sabo, who was ready and is now suddenly not ready. Yeah, um, I'm a fucking bitch. In the sort of waiting period for other games to come out, I have started playing Saints Row, the new one. Ah, and I'll say, tell you this: so far, it is worth exactly what I paid for it. Nothing. Nothing. I, I knew the punchline before you said it. Well, of course she did. Did it come in like Game Pass some shit? Oh uh, yeah, it was on PS on PS Plus. So I was like, you know ah, what? I'll, I'll I'll play it. I'll play it. Sure. I know it's finally on Steam. I'll pro I might try it when it's really cheap. Excuse me, really cheap, and then if I don't like it, refund it. I want to tell you, I want to tell you the cardinal sin of it. What's that? <laughs> it's really fucking boring. Damn, that's like, pretty bad. What is it, Saints Row One? Yeah. Oh yeah. A funny main stack, because I'll say this, so far the cars feel like they handled them like Saints Row 1. Oh, oh, oh. So they handle like GTA 4 then? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. worse. No, oh. Actually, probably worse, because you don't get any sensation of speed in these cars. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, also, as far as I'm aware so far, most of the actual cool side activities uh, are gone. In fact, so far, the only sort of, like, new innovation that is, and isn't just, like, subtracting from stuff that was in previous games uh, is now you can ride on top of a roof and shoot. Which you might have been able to do in previous games, but also, as far as I'm aware, there's no cruise control, so it's very I, useless if you're on your own. I don't think you could, because I remember trying to do that and just falling off the car. So, so far, there, it's just... It, I mean, I can see why this game... It failed. It's, I, I know it was very buggy, and even in its current state, it feels like it's one of those things. Where it feels like the game itself is. Like, I, I'm gonna be that guy. To be fair, Saints Row Three had no bugs. Remembers the time I jumped through a car in our recording and died randomly. I mean, I'm not saying though. Oh no, I just want to be fair. I just want to be even-handed here. I say that while Saints oh, yeah. Row Three is a favorite of mine. Period. It's like one of my I'm favorite not, video I'm games. I'm not even saying that it's bugs in the, in the version I'm playing now. It's just more of the fact that. I can feel where the game engine is like stretching, is stretched fucking to thin, or it, it might literally be. I have no idea, breaking. but it, it might, unless it's, unless it like in the opening it says like Unreal or some stupid shit. I, I think it's, it's still, what? Havoc. I think it's Havoc. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably still the fucking engine they were using back in Saints Row 2 and 3 and 4 and Agents so of Mayhem. Yeah, it feels like it's, it's stretched to the. Uh, limits. I mean, so, you can get an know. old I'll engine to run. If your old engine's good, you can get it to run, because, uh, to be fair, From Software has been using the same engine since Demon Souls. And it works fine. Just, yeah, but, I wasn't really complaining about the engine. But Havoc was never different. really, like, a great engine. It was just okay. It was used a lot more back in the early PS3 era. All I'm saying is it definitely feels like it's just on the verge of collapse at all times, so even though nothing's happened yet, it feels like it's about to happen. So, I don't know. It, I'll keep playing it on the basis that maybe it might get better, but like as soon as something shiny comes along, that is just going to be straight up deleted. I mean, that's completely so, fair. I'm giving it a fair shot. 
by fair, I mean I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Speaking of not getting things and not paying for them, uh, I was gifted, and I've been playing it, Cyberpunk. Okay. It's great that it finally got released, you know? Like, now that, it's been, it, so... now that it's been finally released, it's actually pretty good. I, I, I heard many stories about the early access period. Hmm. I'm gonna keep making yeah. these jokes because it was because I, I mean, come on. You know those weirdos that are trying to like pretend, like trying to like revisionist history and be like it was always good. No, it was not. Yeah, they always do that. Same with Skyrim. Skyrim is still not. Well, I maintain Skyrim has never been good. Skyrim, yeah, Skyrim's People... never been good. Oh, actually. Before I say it. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, there are, can you, can you, uh, there's a couple things that I want to make fun of Starfield because it's fun. Um, so, there's a couple of things I've noticed from, uh, if you want to make Star, that are being complaints for Starfield, uh, for, you know, Bethesda fans, one, uh, they're complaining about the, no, 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 touch, no, no, stop me if this sounds like something you would have already said about another game of theirs. Uh, they're complaining about, uh, the areas being too open and barren. Uh, they're complaining about the dungeons seeming to be copy and pasted. Mm. Does, does anything sound familiar to you yet? I mean, it sounds like. Let, uh, hold on, let me check my notes for this because I really need. I need to see this. Oh yeah, every uh, every Bethesda game developed in house. So. Uh, correct. Um, they're also oh, upset yeah. by the lack of mods because there hasn't been many mods made it yet. I mean, that's not on there. I mean, I'll say this, that's not one that's not necessarily on Bethesda. Oh, yeah, but no, but it, it really goes back into the quality thing that we were talking about before, and how the only reason they really were mad about 76 back in the day is because they couldn't mod it. I mean, yeah, we need And the reason why there aren't really any mods for this game is... So, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I said this last week, but the thing that Bethesda had going for them with... Um, that has going with them with Elder Scrolls and Fallout is... Elder Scrolls has, like, a bunch of lore and shit that was written back when they had actual writers working for them, you know, that all left during Oblivion's development. Um, Fallout has a Bible from a previous team, so they have plenty of stuff to work with and fuck up. Starfield is uh, Todd Howard's brainchild, and there's not really much going up upstairs in Todd Howard's head. So, you get stuff like them bringing back the adoring fan in Starfield. Joy. I'm dead serious. The adoring fan is in Starfield. Because they realized that they could... I guess they figured doing Sheogorath again, but in Starfield would have been a bridge too far, so they brought the adoring fan in. Well, That's how bankrupt they are. Creatively. I mean, let's be fair. Uh, uh, as someone who knows nothing about Starfield's world, I feel like I already know everything about Starfield's world because I've watched Star Wars and Star Trek. It, it's just generic. It's So, what's even funnier is that in their lore, they're like, yeah, there are giant robots, but you can't use them. They're illegal, so they don't have giant robots. What a joke shit game. Right? And, um... <laughs> If you ever want to piss off somebody who's defending Starfield like it's their child when you make fun of it, uh, tell them to do one thing very simple. Tell them yeah. to play Starfield. It makes them very angry. I've done this several times, and every time they get relentlessly mad with me. I don't care enough about Starfield to even make fun of it anymore. Well, I, I mean, I made fun, no, no, I, I made fun of it, like, twice, and I had a couple of them come at me. And when I got bored, I would then tell them to play Starfield, and they would get very angry at me. I'd be like, why are you talking... It's like, if the game is so good, why are you talking to this idiot who apparently says it's bad? You should go play Starfield. Ah! I I'm just saying, like, if someone said something shit about Armored Core, and someone's and they told you to play Armored Core, you just play Armored Core. Yeah. Because it's a good video such... game. People have said shit about Armored Core, and I'll be like, oh, that's nice. Anyway. Yeah, pretty much. Um... So like, I just, but I mean, it's not even that ne or necessarily an uncanny thing, but it's just more of the fact. Like, I realized, I mean, I realized it was Skyrim, but I feel like Fallout seventy six kind of, and, and it did have defenders. Oh, that right. kind of very much. I mean, people will tell you seventy six is good whole... now. It's not. 
I know. I mean, technically, I could test it because I got it in one of my Humble Bundles, so I own the game, but that requires me downloading it and playing it, so... I mean, who's got time for that? My point is, is that I realized around 76 that even with the amount of discourse people were throwing out, it still wasn't enough. And it's like, yeah, there's just... There's no reason... There's not a whole lot to discuss because, hey, look, Bethesda has Shukai made the exact that. same mistakes in every main in every sort of main game they've developed in-house like they get away with shit because hey guess what they get other teams to publish their shit it's like oh yeah doom is good it has yeah. nothing to do with fucking bethesda yeah bethesda didn't to develop that shit yeah it did that they just get bethesda just gets to slap their company name on it and go oh aren't we special we took credit for someone else's hard work as you know as we did with elder scrolls and fallout it's true <laughs> Like, but, but yeah, so it's like they keep doing the exact same shit every game, and it's the exact same arguments, the exact same problems, and it's like people just don't, people are just willfully ignorant at a certain point. Like, it's kind of like watching an abusive relationship, or it's like, well, I've told them like countless times what they need to do, and they're not going to do it. So at this point, I'm like, yeah, I'm just getting involved. It's on you. The, the... If you really want to keep, if you really want Bethesda to keep hit giving you black eyes and you don't want to report them, and you don't want to stop this, then more power to you, mate. Like, I'm gonna kick shame. Like the reason I didn't play, uh, I, I didn't want to get Starfield is because like the idea of you know funny space adventures is nice, but it's Bethesda and I'm burned out on all their dumb shit, and I have Outer Worlds. And also, you could like, say also you could just get funny dumb space adventures from I don't know every fucking company in the world. <laughs> but like um, they've all done that. But like also, hi, Sabo. hello Sabo. But actually, I did pitch Outer Worlds to a couple of people because of their disappointment in Starfield. Because like one of my friends was like, yeah, I I really wish the planets were a little bit smaller and you didn't have to really fiddle with the space travel. You could just go to the planets and it wasn't really annoying. And and I was like, well, Bucko, I have a video game for you. Because you just described Outer Worlds. It is incredible that they looked at No Man's Sky and all the controversy and then waited until after they made No Man's Sky good and then they just apparently didn't learn anything. Oh and they just made worse No Man's Sky. There was a really funny... Um, so there was a video that was made before the game came out, like, you know, the Todd Howard's Lies, where they were doing that with Starfield before the game came out. And there it was, just works. And there was one part that the, the video accidentally predicted where it shows Todd Howard, like, pointing at the moons and going, you can go to that. You can't. <laughs> can't go to that. You can't go to that. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Uh, well, you see... Yeah. It makes sense according to the logic of, of uh, Howardism. You know, I will say the good thing about the the original video is that whenever people say, can you prove that he's lied, it makes a really easy source to use. All Out 3 has 300 endings. <laughs> it's in the video. Yeah. 300 yes. endings. I love someone who's someone I know who's a massive fucking defender. Defender said he never said that, and I'm like, okay, I'll go find the video. That's what I do love about this digital age is that you can just play, you can just like fact check people like instantly, especially when they record themselves. Do you, like, do you hey, think look. it would make Todd Howard infathomably angry if you played that video to him? Uh, oh yes, but I also think no, he'd just be like, he'd just be like, there, it, that didn't happen. You know, you're yeah, right. Yeah, I think he basically just do, trumpet. Do, yeah, you just trumpet. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. That's like, that didn't happen. But here's video evidence. Here's a signed declaration from you saying. What, what, what are you going to believe, exactly. me or your lying eyes and ears and noses? Me and all me and the mountains of evidence to the contrary. You're gonna believe uh, me or that lying stack of evidence? Oh, well, I'm sure Todd Howard will just pay for another row of people to make him feel good. I still love that. <laughs> Allegedly. But allegedly. Definitely. Allegedly, but definitely. You're in a different legal system. You can do it. I have to say allegedly. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Otherwise, it's defamation if I do it. It's fine. Just write it. Then it's libel. Well, if it becomes enough where enough people believe it to be acceptable as part of his reputation, then it's not, uh, uh it, then it, it no longer is defamation. For yeah, example, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you get enough people to say Todd Howard's a cunt and believe that he's a cunt, you can call him a cunt. It's not defamation. Boy. Well. 
I'm you do the same thing with calling I'm him a creep. Because he looks like a creep. Sounds like a creep, yeah. too. I mean, he definitely has the air of someone who has a skeleton under his patio. Just one? I mean, at least one under there. I don't know where he's kept the rest. Just, just yeah. one. Just one, you know like, I mean? one... 20 foot tall skeleton under his patio. <laughs> the Walmart skeleton or the Home Depot skeleton? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? There are just some people you talk to. Like, well, I wouldn't say you are a serial killer, but I wouldn't be surprised if you are. It's kind of like how I am with children's entertainers, where it's like, I'd never outright say you might be a pedophile, but if it comes out in 20 years that you are, I'm not going to be up. I'm not going to be shocked. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, I'm sure. Plenty of children's television presenters are all nice and wonderful people, but there's plenty I've I've seen who I'm like. Or, or, or you get the ones that just really fucking hate kids. I wouldn't need. I mean, I trust those. Oh yeah, those ones aren't gonna touch kids. Yeah. But it's the, hey, the you wanna know what she thinks like... about us? She thinks we're all little. <laughs> Rugrats. Ah, yes. Remember. I don't remember that bit, but I do remember there was a show called The Rugrats. Uh, well, there was a bit where there was like some like not Barney actress lady, and Helga gets to overhear her calling kids some swear word. We don't get to hear it because it's a children's show. And when she gets on TV, she goes, "She thinks we're all little," and you know it cuts to like Drew screaming. Poor Drew. Still kind of boggles my mind that like. Drew Pickles what has the same voice actor as Raziel. Yeah. What a fucking guy. Also, he's in Star Trek. Yeah, he's in everything. Yeah, he is in it, yeah. Yeah, he was in, he was in the first episode of Star Trek The Next Generation as, like, the, the character of the day. <laughs> this one will only matter to... Like, a weird, like, voice... Like, uh... Like, shit like that. This one will only really matter to Sabo, because... Him and I are the only play people who play Fire Emblem in this call. Uh, but, like, the voice actress for Rey in Three Houses also does the, uh, the Viz Dub Sailor Venus. Yeah, she does a lot of characters. She yeah. does Makoto and Persona 5. And... It's that, well, I mean, I pick Rey specifically because Rey has a very different tone to where I didn't realize it was Charmy right away. Yeah, it was weird because she was, she, usually she plays, like, teenage girls and then she's like, I am mommy this time. And she has, like, this much deeper voice. To be fair, it's like Fire Emblem has like so many characters. It's got to have like it's got to have the One Piece problem of just like yeah, everyone's in it at least three times. That's, it's yes. true. It's not, this is the that's the Detective Conan problem. I mean, that happened with uh, uh what's her name? Uh, what's the name of Futaba's voice actress in Persona Five? Uh, Erica. Erica not, Lindbeck. Yeah, uh, so not it, one of the Ericas because there's so, a lot of them. So really. Erica Lindbeck does the voice did the voice of Celica. And she did another one in the phone, like for the. She did another one of the characters too. So when they had them both in fucking engage, they recasted one of the characters. So it wouldn't just be Erica and Erica again, since Erica has just the one voice. They did this. This what they did. In, and that's not to say she's a bad actress. She just has you know no, the, one voice. No, tr well, no, they did that in uh, Trails too when they accidentally. Had, oh, had, yeah. had the one person play two characters because they forgot, oh right, that girl that shows up with Lloyd is not the same girl that showed up with Lloyd. The last time we saw Lloyd, uh, we better give one of them a different VA so they're not just talking to themselves. When Ellie was just gone from the was just gone from the franchise from the game suddenly. But it's okay, because it's better than Noelle did. Noelle just completely gone until Reverie. Oh shit, yeah, Sabo's here. Trails to Daybreak got announced. Yes. Yay. Yeah, it's coming out next year. Yeah, you can hang out in Calvert with those filthy Calvertians. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm not excited. Well, I... He's already played it. He's never excited. <laughs> I've already played I've already played yeah, I already I've already played it back when I know what happens. Well, I, I I just I just started importing them and playing them in Japanese when it seemed like for like there was like there was like a, a two and a half year period where it was just like yeah Trails is done they're not gonna bother with it anymore they're not making any money off of it and then suddenly and then suddenly uh, NSA bought it out and they're like no we're gonna release all of it even the two games from ten years ago that nobody played 
something. Yeah, I think that is big, a big issue, because I still haven't finished Reverie, and I realised, because Reverie is just so obviously a filler game, right? Reverie's like the... Reverie's a filler game slash... Like the, like the, oh, slash the 10th it. anniversary of the Crossbell arc slash, which would be, you know, interesting if not for the fact that, uh, Most people who... Most people literally just played it, like, two like months before. Hey, look, it's exactly the same... It's, like, it's more or less exactly the same plot circumstances. So, it's, yeah, so, so instead of people being like, Oh, yeah, nostalgia, I remember when I played this ten years ago, and then they're just like, I just played this... I just finished the other game a month ago, and now I'm playing it again. It's also made worse in the fact that, for the story, they're like, Oh, yeah, the SSS were really arrogant because they thought they were the heroes. And it's like, well, did they? It felt like they were just kind of doing their usual thing and then they lost to Rufus because obviously Rufus is the best I mean, I'm pretty, I, 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 mean I'm pretty, I, I don't I don't think Rufus was supposed to be taken at face value there Rufus is strongest and bravest I mean, Ruf my, Rufus is so like, strong he beats himself but then Lloyd was like man Rufus was right I was too arrogant and so I was too arrogant it's like when when were you when have, you ever, me about when have you ever been arrogant? Your your entire character is like, oh no, I am humble, and you don't even have the crippling self depression and doubt that Reen has to justify it. Or well, the you know hot tempered, bull headedness of Estelle. Yes. Well, whatever Vans, whatever. I mean, she's in Reverie and Cold Steel Four. Right, I mean, yeah. as a main character. Yeah, well, even when she was a main character, they're like Estelle, you're awesome, and she's like, yeah, I know, right? Where it's, where it's like with Reed and Lloyd, like I mean, Reed and Lloyd, while, you're awesome. Oh I mean, no, 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 no. With Estelle, it took a while before they started drawing her awesome. Before that, they kept making fun of her constantly, and her getting yeah, fucking mad about it. I mean, people only really respected Reen after he got the giant robot. Which, to be fair, the dude can pull a mech out of his ass. Yeah, you do kind of respect that. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Trails of Daybreak. I want to see what's going on with Vaughn. Yeah, no, Vaughn Va 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 isn't like humble like they are, but he's just like, he's like, whatever. He, he I, don't care. I, he's, he's, like, he's like, whatever, I don't care, I am too cursed. I am too cursed. You can't understand my cursed this Curse. It's, it's, he's, it's, I mean, it's, it's basically just like Green, except instead of having a crippling uh, martyr complex, he's just like, I am edgy, stay away from me. I'll only bring you down. Oh no, it's Vincent Valentine all over again. Oh yeah, did we talk about, did we talk about the trailer for Rebirth? No, I don't think we did. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, everyone's going, blowing up like, oh my god, Yuffie and Vincent aren't, like, optional anymore. It's like, I thought that. the fact that Yuffie got an entire DLC side story made that pretty fucking clear. I mean, we talked that's about how- one of the, That's one of the first things they said when the game was like, like, are Yuffie and Vincent going to be optional? They're like, no, because we have to- it's, we have to actually integrate them into the story with cutscenes and voice acting now, so you know, you're just going to run into them by default. I mean, why? Are, I mean, it's not. Listen, I'll be real. We shouldn't be surprised that they're this stupidly surprised because remember, for months and months, different game, but for months and months, both fans and the developers kept telling people Armored Core Six is not a Souls like, and they refused to listen. And then the game came out, and they're like, "What do you mean it's not a Souls like?" But also, like, Yuffie and Vincent have been in every single piece of, like, secondary Far Fantasy media. Yeah, they, they were extremely popular, Vincent. so they've been in everything after that, so they were going to be. Also, and Yuffie got her own fucking game! Uh, Vincent did. Vincent got- well, Yuffie also got one recently. I just mean, like, recent, so where it's like, oh yeah, you can't even the argue. DLC. Yeah, Yuffie got the DLC to integrate, where it's like, yeah, that basically confirms they're not optional. Like... They've cast a voice actor for Yuffie. She's definitely in, and if she's in, they've got to put Vincent in, because Vincent actually does have plot relevance. Which is why it's super fucking weird he's optional. He's like the only character who like, has any connection to most of the actual backstory. Once you know it. From what I gather, he wasn't, yeah, supposed, he wasn't supposed to be optional, but they ran out of time to get his gimmick in there properly, so they're just like, alright, uh, he'll just be a bonus character then. Yeah, that happens. 
Paul Vincent. But yeah, no, my, my point is more of we shouldn't be surprised. We already know people are this fucking stupid. But they've said that uh, Vincent isn't going to be playable. He's just going to be like a, a tag, tag along as his character. Yeah, he'll be playable in the next game, most likely. Because, because, which, or which, he'll, which, get, or which he'll get his own Yuffie thing, which yeah, I think which probably won't happen. Which, which basically means that like uh, the game is not going to go much longer past Nibelheim, I guess. Oh no, Saber, I just had a horrible thought. What? What if they're bringing back Dirge of Cerberus? Oh no. They might. Oh no! They might bring back Inferior Gungrave. No, you don't understand. There's another character appears in Dirge of Cerberus. That means they're going to bring back Genesis. Genesis! No! Genesis! He's coming back. And yeah, Gok Genesis Born. Actually... I, I, mean, I mean, Gok is making a comeback, so it's possible, unfortunately. Annoyingly, Genesis' first actual appearance is... He's coming back because of Final Fantasy! I know it! Like, he just appears in a post credit scene, like, who the fuck is this? Then you find out who the fuck this is, you're like, I wish I didn't know who the fuck this was. Who, who is this interesting character? I'm sure I'm sure he'll uh, he'll have many interesting things in a very deep backstory when we, oh, when we no. finally see him in Crisis Core. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Genesis. Remember that time when Genesis and Geo and Sephiroth hung out? Weren't they best friends? Oh yeah, and Geo. We want it to be when Genesis is on screen, the other character is asking, where's Genesis? Basically how it is. It's like Marie and that as well. Uh, I would take Marie over Genesis every day. Damn! Now no, that's a say. fucking thing to say. You don't understand how bad Genesis is. You're right, I don't. Like, Marie is, t Marie is trash, but like, Genesis is like actively like the worst fan character you could imagine, but he's canon. Actually, I can't remember. Did any of you play uh, Five Royale with Cheese? I, I played Five Royale with Cheese. Because I, I, there was like a, there's like this weird renaissance. People were like, no, no, Kasumi is actually bad. Marie's good. And I'm like, are you guys I? I can't believe anyone said that. I have! I've seen it! I've seen it with my own eyes! And then I've also seen people tell me Teddy's trash and Morgana's I've, good. I mean, they're, like, I've seen they're that too. trash. I, I've seen that too. I saw people tr now trying to resuscitate and pretend d fucking Doom 3 is good. I mean, I've had arguments with a friend of mine who's like, I, tells me, oh yeah, I love Junpei, but I hate Yosuke. I'm like, How? What? How? How can you... Like, it's one thing to say, okay, I don't like Yosuke because, you know, whatever. But how can you like Junpei? He's literally the worst version of I, Yosuke. I, I have seen that. Actually, hold on one second. My cat, who's been in here the whole time, uh, wants out of my room. The cat heard us call, talking shit about Morgana. It's like, you saying something about Morgana? Yes. Cats represent. God, a thousand times, yes, I hate Morgana. I would defrost that little thing. Right, I'm back. She's usually not in here when I record, but she was sleeping sound, and I was like, I don't want to disturb her. Mm. But, uh, I, I've seen that. I have seen that where a lot of people are like, yeah, Junpei's great. And I'm like, are you, what, what, when, no? No? Stop it. Do you reckon they'll make it, they'll make it up to Rocket Town? I mean, uh, I think they are. Probably. That I think, means... I, I think, that, yeah, they said Sid is going to be there too, and he's also not going to be playable. Yeah, did you hear uh, no, that? Nobody's that upset about not playing Who the fuck Sid. Who cares about Sid? I mean, I like I like Sid when I was. I also dead. like Sid, but Sid is Sid feels like the one who should have been optional because he's like he's just yeah. there most of the time. I, I was like I I liked playing as Sid. I was like I too aspire to be a grumpy old man who hates everything. Lo and behold, you followed your dreams. Yes. How does it feel? Of, I was gonna say a grumpy old man, twenty six. I'm like, actually, what is Sid's age? Probably 26. Probably. It is a Japanese game. I was, I was gonna say, the people, people like, Sid is officially younger than Barrett, despite acting like he's 20 years older than him. I accidentally just searched for Sid Final Fantasy. Oh no. Uh oh. We're gonna That's find out a number. I, th I, th uh, I think his, I think his age is like 32 or something, which... Hey, you got it. 32. I'll hey, be, that actually makes sense. Which does, which, do, but again, it doesn't seem like much until you realize that Barrett is 35, yet the game acts like Sid is like 20 years older than Barrett. That is weird. Because, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I got all the smoking, I guess, yeah. And beating his wife. No, they're, yeah, I'm not, no, no they're not married, so it's okay. Wait, what? Well, I'm assuming that will cut. I'm assuming uh, his unrelenting hatred of the woman who saved his life is. I mean, uh, I mean, the, I mean, in the original game, they're not married. She's just this woman that lives in his house, and he's abusive to. <laughs> he lives in his house to make some food. Yeah. And basically acts like his wife. Yeah, and acts like his <laughs> wife, but she's not his wife. My brain right away yeah. just started going to this scene of Yuffie in Advent Children screaming sexist. I mean. It, it's very weird in that she does live with him and basically acts exactly like his wife, but he hates her because she stopped him from killing himself. I can't believe you didn't let me kill myself! Like, I just wanted. What, what do you mean the rocket would have exploded if I'd have launched it? I just want to die! No, he, just, no he, 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 he was like, that obviously faulty oxygen tank would have been fine. Except it wasn't, and it would have blown up and killed him if he'd gone. Oh, you understand? <laughs> I was looking to die! He was like, Sid, what did you name this rocket again? The Challenger, why? Oh, no. <laughs> oh God! Abort, 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 abort. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's why he named everything else Highwind. And also because it's his name and he's an I can't believe we've done a Challenger joke. You know what? No, I can't believe I'm lying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's too fucking soon. I've only been 40 minutes. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a too soon, man. Don't joke about the Challenger. We've literally done it's jokes at terrible nobody, events no, earlier. No, nobody, nobody here was alive when the Challenger exploded. I wasn't even yeah. alive yet. Yeah. Too it's soon, like, man. <laughs> next, I'll be making jokes about Michael Gambon. Ah! Oh, I won't actually. I'm a bit. I'm a bit sad about that. I'm like, he was cool. How anyway, fun. he was cool, but on the other hand, people are like, oh no, Dumbledore, and people are like, you still care about Harry Potter? Oh, I'm not sad about that. I'm sad about the guy. No, I'm just, I'm just. I'm just. Pe pe like you, people, like the people are like, Harry Potter's a dated millennial uh, thing. We don't care about Dumbledore except all the millennials. I'm more sad about the. I'm a little sad about the time he nearly flipped a car on Top Gear. And got an entire corner on the racetrack named after him for it. Uh, you know. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. I mean, we don't have we don't have those kind of shows over here. We just have Jay Leno trying to kill himself over and over you, in his garage. You tried to, and it didn't. And it didn't work. Shame, he tried really. To, he tried to twice. Shame, really. Uh, the second time, the place caught fire, and he's still he's still. He still, he still A, survived, and B, just went right back to his cars. People were like, I guess Jay is just tired of living. Yeah, probably. Well, you think you'd get tired of not telling a joke, but here we go. He's like, he's like, ah, damn it, I made it again. All right, back to the drawing board. Yeah, there's obviously kind of difficult for us to talk about Final Fantasy Rebirth beyond our crazy wild theories as to what bull it, what dumb bullshit Nomura put in there before he left. And, and like, stuff that was like in leaks that may or may not Ugh. be true because they're leaks, and leaks aren't always true. Yeah. Leaks are fairly often not true. It's like, yeah. oh, oh, oh no, I accidentally gave him the script to Kingdom Hearts 4. Oops. Oops. Oh no. Sora says something about friendship and hearts and Riku and uh... <laughs> so, no, so Cloud, Cloud says something wait. about friendship as the darkness of wait a minute. <laughs> wait, hold on. Hang on. Uh, uh and I mean why does it specifically say fuck you, Kyrie? Huh. I mean, let's be fair. Oh, there were a whole bunch of shadowy cloaked figures in Far Fantasy Remake. So what if they're not the ghosts of timelines or whatever it is? Is and, and, then, and then the one Zaynots. person, they're and just then... all Xehanots. It's quick. This is Sephiroth's new plan. It's like, I'm gonna start Organization S. I mean, he did that, didn't he? That's he right. He, the children yeah, he, as yeah that's right. He, he did, but there was only three, there was only three instead of 13, so he's got, he's got work to do. Sure, he's behind schedule. Oh no. Those characters are the worst. Answers. Those characters were the worst. I was like, why are you why are you losing to these guys? They're terrible. 
because they're, um... they're they're terrible, and you're much more competent than this. Why are you losing to these three idiots? Remember when Tifa got jobbed? Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I was, is, I, I was like, I was, else. I was like, this isn't the script for Kingdom Hearts Four. Why did she just get wrecked by this guy? This isn't Kyrie. Because he's Laws, you know. Everyone loves Laws. Who? I think that's his name. No, I don't. I don't know their names. <laughs> I call them stupid and stupid and stupid. They're interchangeable. I think, I think what? I'm pretty sure the main La, one is called La, Kadaj. Laws, Waz, and Sephiroth Jr. <laughs> was Scott? Oh no! If it if it's was, he hey y'all! Oh no! Boy, I was thinking boy. of a different was. Oh, Saber yeah, knows yeah, what's, what's gonna, I was thinking of. He's gonna be. Uh, it's time to exalt the Overlord. I like my version better. Uh, it's way stupider. Uh, he's Which not is funny because one of them, one of them was voiced by Red Racer. Oh. Huh. Which was a weird. W weird appearance for him, but all right. I mean, fair enough. Guy's gotta eat. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just like it was, that was that was like, like hey, this guy's this guy is played by uh, a, a actor from a TV show from like seven years ago. Who <laughs> hasn't really done much since? So okay. I mean, I guess that's 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 bas actually that basically is how it works here. So there you go. And then one of them digivolved into Sephiroth. Yeah, but it was Kadage. Damn you, Kadage. Then we got basically the only reason I think that children is kind of worth anything. Didn't we? Why don't we just crop out? Why can't we just crop out that entire fight scene and ignore the rest of the movie? Because we must suffer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, I don't think there's anything else interesting came out of the TGS, did it? Uh, I mean, the only thing I—I I mean, I, I think I, I, it might have been announced last week. So I might have mentioned it. They—they they, uh, are making a sequel to Unemployed Ninja Azuna, which is something that only, only I give a shit about. Well, I'm glad that you get that. So you know, that's cool. I'm like, oh, that's something I didn't think would ever come back. That weird, obscure DS game. Cool. Thank you. It's back. And not in Pog form, I hope. You wish it was in Pog form, though. No, I don't. Pogs were a thing when I was a kid, and that's where they. Pogs suspended. were a thing for like a summer. Pogs were a thing for like two months. No, Pogs were eternal. By, by the time I even debated getting into Pogs, they were done. Pogs are eternal now, thanks to Twitch. Like a year or two, maybe around where I was. Uh, I, I, so I, like someone, someone had, someone had only like halfway explained the rules to Pogs to me when suddenly Pogs weren't cool anymore. It's like, well, there are right. rules to Pogs. Uh, yeah. Apparently, yeah, apparently you stacked them all on top and then you threw a bigger Pog at them, and that's as far as he got with Pogs. Yeah, no they're called popular. slammers. My brothers are really into it, so I know more about Pogs than I should. Ow. Uh. Uh, yeah, so I remember they did a promotional thing of like uh, crisps, which I guess you guys called potato chips, had some pogs inside them. So I had, think I had like three, and then I was like, I'm just gonna make, put these together and make them into a TIE fighter. So I did. That's my experience with pogs. I mean, that's fair. But, uh, yeah, I, I uh,. We had them as a kid. I, um... Enjoyed them. I just realized, because of that fucking comedy bit... Oh wait, no, I forgot. There was a lot of that recording was not... Was us just bullshitting and not even actually in the video. I was like, yeah. at the timer, and I was like, wait, no, that's not right. Yeah. Didn't you have a question for Sabo? Fuck, I don't remember. Oh. I probably did, but we forgot. But we forgot in the middle of us making yes, fun of Starfield and shit. In the middle of the battle, Rombaral forgot to fight again. No. Uh, yeah. When is Rombaral ever remembered to fight? Man, it has been so weird since Witch of Mech. Here got uh, some of my friends who are definitely not into mechs talking about Gundams. 
I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> so on the one hand, it was gonna happen. On the one hand, on the one hand, I am a gatekeeping asshole. It's true, you are. I don't like people enjoying things that I like if they don't, you know, if they're, if they're not into the whole thing. If they're just joined, well, you have to. It's, it's baby popular. steps. You gotta work on them slowly. If they're just jumping on because it's popular, then it's like <laughs> maybe I would rather just I don't know, break your kneecaps or something. Well, you you slowly get them in. I just want to be like those guys in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh. You, you know, the Gate Guardians. Mm -hmm. It's like you're not getting through this gate. Oh, oh no, they got through the gate. Crap. <coughs> but um. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. We might have missed something from like, some announcement that... Neither of us really give a shit about. Yeah, I've not really watched any... And I've not been watching anything that's like, worth talking about. But yeah, I could say, yeah, yep. I'm still like, watching bits and pieces of One Piece. You know, it's good when it's not filler. The one thing I, I, I am looking forward to, though, about Witcher Mercury being a thing is that I, I can't wait for Choo Choo just to punch random people in Super Robot Wars, because you know they're going to make her do it. I just wanted to punch people. Call Shara yeah, Spacey. Yeah, Super, Robo call, Super Robot Wars, uh, speaking of that. Call Shara Spacey and Turd. Oh, do we get news? No, I was, I was like, there, are, there is no news. The news is mm. apparently they're not releasing anything until their latest mobile game is finishes service, which will probably be around next year sometime. Okay. Because they don't want it to cut into their profits. Kill the mobile game, gotcha. <coughs> but yeah, because I... mobile games is all the Japanese care about these days. Mm. But yeah, I uh, I am looking forward to Choo Choo and Neville getting in, punching people, calling Shara Spacey and turn all that stuff. Unless by some miracle, unless by some miracle it doesn't get in, which like, I doubt. Yeah. I mean, I doubt too, but there is always the possibility, because we all thought for sure, oh yeah, Age will definitely get in. Uh, age, 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 I mean, Age got in once, but like, oh, it, it was, it was one of the, it, it was like, it was one of the 3DS games like 10 years ago, and they only used the last generation. The 3DS games, though. But I'm pretty sure nobody cared about it, even in the actual circles. Uh... Apparently they they were decently well received in Japan because they had a bunch of really rare shows in them, but nobody here played them because the 3ds 3ds is not region free. Yeah, so you couldn't uh, you couldn't play it anyway, and uh, even harder to mod in like English translation for. So and because of the third, second screen gimmick, emulation was also kind of a bastard. So, who cares about those games? I'm wondering, like, if they come back, what other work will be like in the big surprise series. Maybe they'll finally get Transformers in. It'd be cool. If you were to pick a non mecha thing, what would you put in, though? Uh, non mecha? Yeah, if you could. But I'm not, I mean, an Ultraman or Ultra adjacent thing. It's not. Yeah, I was gonna say, well, like one, one of the Goku Satsu shows, probably. So it's like, I mean, I guess technically I might also pick a kaiju thing like Gamera or Godzilla or something. I mean, that would be pretty fun. I mean, then Kaiser has technically got into the Gacha game. Yeah, but the Gacha games don't count. Yeah. Mickey Mom getting so... in. I mean, Ultraman was in Super Robot Wars 30, it's just the weird Ultraman. It was the bad one. It was the, it was the Netflix so Ultraman. It... Yeah, which otherwise it's like... I mean, we'll get. I mean, we'll probably get double in one of these games with Fudo P.I. That'd be interesting, considering... Um, he can't even, like, fly or shoot lasers. <laughs> he's just a man! I'm oh, sorry, he's just two men. In one body. I mean, if if Netflix Ultraman could fight alongside them, Double certainly could. At least Netflix Ultraman has the big bullshit excuse of like power armor. I don't know. I kind of just don't see Kamen Rider getting in. I could see like I, 
I can see su uh, Super Sentai, specifically one that's not been ad adapted into Power Rangers, and or maybe just like I think if you get Super Sentai, it's going to be one that's not been Power Rangers or it's Zoo Ranger. I don't think anything else would get in. Bio Man, which yeah, hasn't, Bio -Man could which get hasn't in. been in, which hasn't been in Power Rangers, admittedly, but Bio Man because. Bioman is really popular in France. Yeah. One of the weirder ones I've seen but... is people saying Symfo Gear. I mean, it could, but. I mean, I wouldn't be against it, but yeah. Yeah. I don't think what other non mecha stuff. It kind see... of has to be something that's not tied to, like, a massively ongoing thing. Yeah, that's the... mm. But yeah, I could. I mean, I mean I if I was a. Like, a kaiju. Like, kaiju's is probably what I would want if we were to get something. Though, I, I'd want to focus on just, like, mecha shit. You said that we're not mecha! No, no, I just mean, this is a conversation because people... Because basically, this is the whole thing where I see people asking this a lot, and I was just curious what you guys' thoughts were on it. My thoughts are, why would you ask this? It's called Super Robot Wars. Robot Wars, you cretins! <laughs> why would you make me so angry? You know... But wait, it, are Very Transformers even really man. mecha? Because they're just ro they're robots, but no one pilots them. Well, sometimes they pilot them. Sometimes they're Ginrai. Remember Ginrai? Ah, uh, yes. Ginrai, who just Gin who just found Optimus Prime sitting on the side of the road, and he's like, I'm gonna pilot you now. Remember how Ginrai got... Got fucking killed, so Star Saber could get more, could get new shoes. Man, seeing this part of the of uh, Yaku yeah, then, 2 reminds me why I'm so yeah, pissed except, about her getting written off. Except then he then he came back. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Transformers is closer to is closer to Mecha than like some of the other things. But I just more thinking because obviously that in talks with Takara because that's why we've had you know. Uh, Jay Decker and uh, Mike Gein. And, I mean, let's be fair, those two are fucking as close to Transformers as you can get without being Transformers. Jay Decker especially has no pilots. Hmm. Because the little boy doesn't pilot shit. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that they can't be in the thing. I'm just like, they are, you know, not like, is, 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 it, like, is it really a mecha if they're not piloting it, though? Like, you know, te technicality bullshit? Uh, I don't think there's any. I don't know. There's no like definition of strictly what is and what isn't mecha. I mean, I thought it was just a giant robot where mecha is like someone's piloting it, but I don't know. As I said, J Decker has no pilots. Whatsoever. I mean, yeah, J Decker yeah. would be just a giant robot, wouldn't it? Hmm. Then you can argue that uh, Gridman also has oh, neither giant robots nor pilots. It's true, it doesn't. Because it's just got a guy who's big. He just trans. He just gets a big robot. He just gets a big. It's, maybe it's a power gets... suit, isn't it? Um, no, it's more like a. Few... It's more like his true form, or a fusion, because uh, turn... cause I don't know if you remember SSSS Gridman. Where they're like, hey, you know that Yuta guy you've been following? Yeah, he didn't get amnesia. He's actually just Gridman. Baby, done, done. But Gridman, but Gridman possessing this kid who um, never actually appears, technically, until like, the very end. Baby, done, done. Baby, done, done. Man, when is Gridman yeah, Universe yeah, coming yeah. out? I want to watch it. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be better than Dino Xenon. I still like that in SS Gridman, the uh, studio trigger for a single show realized that they could add weight to their fights and then immediately forgot. Uh, I like to think Super Raya was like, Super Raya was like, here's what you do. I'm like, okay. And then they, like, they, they, started, they started animating like them like fucking like, rubber bands and he just like came crashing into the room. I feel like I've mentioned this fact before, and to be honest, I don't entirely believe it myself either. But allegedly, the SSSS Gridman cast are all designed after, not even just, or all like designed to reference not just Transformers characters, but like shattered glass renditions of Transformers, which is, you know, what if the Autobots and Decepticons had their roles reversed? <laughs> which, as I said, I don't 100% be I don't believe myself, but. I keep seeing that factor crop up, and it's like, yeah, I guess technically some of these color schemes do match. In fact, 
but who knows? Uh, I don't think of other like sort of non-standard no, method, like stuff I would like to see in a su in a hypothetical no, new super robot wars. I'll be honest, I'm amazed people haven't been asking for Attack on Titan. People have. No. They basically are like, no, it's not gonna work. No. no. Also, you know, we've got way more horrifying creatures than that in the invaders. Yes, it's, it's mostly the whole, yeah, that world wouldn't work, but like, you know, everything that happens. <laughs> It might just be like in Z, where there's just two Japans. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we have two, yeah, it's like, ah, oh, there's, there's the Geos Japan, and then there's the actual Japan. And then remember the entire mystery continent that nobody talks about? Ah, uh, yes. Because that's where Gurren Lagan happens, because obviously in Gurren Lagan, well, everything... It's the mystery continent, when you go there, uh, time, is, time moves faster, so you age seven years. While everyone else is, remains the same, it's just, you know... It's almost like if you, if we need to go there for a seven-year time skip for some characters, but that'll never happen. Good old Z. Uh, two. Yeah, it was Z2, wasn't it? Yeah, that was Z2. Yeah, Z. I mean, well, I mean, Z wasn't much better. As far as far as as far as it's like, hey, the world exploded, and now we're all mashed together. But I mean, at least at least Z2 wasn't like, oh, uh, oh yeah, it's like, oh yeah, Aquarion, uh, your plot never happened. It's like, but it, it's like, but of course it happened. I played the game. No, it, it didn't happen because we're 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 putting in the sequel that didn't exist when Z1 was act actually came out, so we had no no way to prepare for it. But we're putting it in anyway. Meanwhile, Super Robot Wars V has not only three different universes. Yeah, but also time travel. I mean, well, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to do the Battleship Yamato universe with any with any other show since it's like, oh yeah, the Earth is destroyed and going to fall apart in a year. Yeah, and also because then they put in Eva, they were like, well, we've got to have Eva World. Yeah, and ex except Eva Rebuild World, where everything is also destroyed, so it's like, okay. And then Mike Gain World, where everything's happy. But also time travel because Tetsuya has to come back because Tetsuya has to go back in time or forward in time to find Ryoma because Ryoma is necessary to stop Koji Kabuto from, you know, becoming Matsuga Zero. But then he does become Zero and it's okay. I mean, he becomes Zero, but it's alright because. You know what? Maybe that should be the thing. Bring back. Zero, but give him his actual final attack for the manga. I mean, oh, the, the one where he summons the uh, photon energy constructs of every other mecha yeah. character in the world. Yeah. In including <laughs> freaking Pacific Rim. Yeah, Gypsy Kane just shows up. Arigato. So that should be. That would be my pick for Super Robot Wars. Put in a spectral construct Gypsy Danger. Yeah. Actually, if we're talking non-mecha stuff, you know what we could get? You know, you know I've also argued for? Put in Trails of Cold Steel. I mean, that is mecha. Yeah, it is yeah, just mecha. That's mecha, and that's probably go it's probably going to happen at some point. You'd hope so. I'd love for I mean, it'll, it'll, I mean, it'll just be like, oh, Reed and Valamor have warped in, and they're here for the rest of the game. But I mean, that's technically uh, Cold Steel. We could get Ordine as well. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's not going to get like, oh, it's Zemuria, the whole Zemuria Wait, continent. Same thing. You know what could happen if we did get it, though? Leanne might get to live. Hey, yes, that would be nice. Instead yeah. of, you know, yeah. being killed by Rufus. Attack, killed attack by Rufus. X character 17 times in order to save as this character. And you, and you know who shouldn't join Rufus. But Ruf no, because Rufus is strongest and bravest. <laughs> no, he's not. He just backstabbed her. Rufus. No. Rufus strongest Ruf and bravest. Rufus well, that's not the real. That's not the real Rufus. That's that's Fear or whatever they call him in the. Do you know what Rufus's greatest flaw is? He's too perfect. You're right. He'll never, under he'll never understand the plight of the common man. I just, I just, I just know in in the Japanese version of Bravery, they actually call him the Fear, which is. Yeah. yeah, they like yeah, 
they like saying that. Because it's like, how can, no how, can we, how can we make Rufus worse? Oh, let's make him Hitler. Do, do, no, one do, else, do, no one else do. in the world likes to use the term Fuhrer. Would someone tell us what we Germans did to deserve this? All right, that. Anyway, I think it's time to leave. Yeah, I think after mentioning Hitler and yeah. the Germans, it's let's, to, let's go. It's time to get out of here before the Germans go on holiday. Everyone went to summer camp, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs>